Thank you. That concludes our debate on inclusive tourism and promoting accessible tourism. The next item of business is consideration of business mo of motion sorry, 4535 in the name of James Dornan on the appointment of the Commissioner for Children and Young People in Scotland. And I call on James Dornan to move the motion. Thank you, President Officer. I am moving the motion in my name and behalf of a cross-party selection panel, which was established under standing orders, to invite members to nominate Bruce Adamson to Her Majesty the Queen to be appointed as a Commissioner for Children and Young People in Scotland. The selection panel was chaired by yourself, and the other members were Jeremy Balfour, Mary Fee, Jenny Gilruth and Tavi Scott. Whilst the Parliament is not subject to the Code of Practice and Ministerial Appointments to Public Bodies, we follow the guidelines to ensure best practice is observed and that the process is fair. On behalf of the panel, I'd like to thank Louise Rose, the independent assessor who oversaw the process and has provided the Parliament with a validation certificate confirming that the process complied with good practice and that the nomination is on merit after a fair, open and transparent process. I'd also like to thank all the children and young people who participated in our survey, which sought their views on the role of the Commissioner and the issues that concern them. As members will be aware, the role of the Commissioner is to promote and safeguard the rights of children and young people in Scotland. In particular, the Commissioner must promote awareness and understanding of the rights of children and young people, keep under review the law, policy and practice relating to the rights of children and young people, promote best practice by service providers and publish research on matters relating to the rights of children and young people. The Commissioner is also required to lay before the Parliament an annual report, which is scrutinised by the Education and Skills Committee. The report must include information on any issues he has identified in relation to the rights of children and young people. The activities he has undertaken to fulfil his functions, any recommendations arising from his work, and it must also provide an overview of the work to be undertaken in the following year, including how he intends to involve children and young people in his work. I look forward to hearing from the new Commissioner in due course about his work and achievements. Turning to our nominee, who is in chamber this afternoon with his family, Bruce Adamson was a unanimous choice of the panel from a strong field of candidates. Bruce is a lawyer who has over 20 years of experience in children's rights. He currently works at the Scottish Human Rights Commission and has been central to the development of law, policy and practice covering the broad spectrum of children's rights. He represents the Commission on the UK's National Preventive Me Mechanism under the Convention Against Torture and has extensive experience inspecting places of detention in Scotland and other countries. Bruce is also a member of the Children's Panel and has worked directly with vulnerable children and their families, listening to their experiences and making decisions about their safety and well-being. The panel believes that Bruce will be an excellent champion for children and young people's rights and will bring to the post energy, enthusiasm and commitment. I'm sure the Parliament will want to wish him every success in his new role. In closing, Presiding Officer, I think that the Parliament would also wish to thank the outgoing Commissioner, Tam Bailey, and to wish him well for the future. Presiding Officer, I move the motion. Thank you. And the question will be put as part of decision time. The first question, decision time tonight, is that amendment uh, 4576.1 in the name of Dean Lockhart, which seeks to amend motion 4576 in the name of Fiona Hislop on inclusive tourism, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are all agreed. The next question is that amendment 4576.2 in the name of Lewis MacDonald, who seeks to amend the motion in the name of Fiona Hislop, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. The next question is that amendment 4576.3 in the name of Tavish Scott, which seeks to amend the motion in the name of Fiona Hislop, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. And the next question is that motion 4576 in the name of Fiona Hislop, as amended, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. And the final question is that motion 4535 in the name of James Dornan on the appointment of the Commissioner for Children and Young People in Scotland be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. In that case, can I also thank our outgoing Commissioner Tam Bailey and congratulate Bruce Adamson on his appointment and wish him well in his term of office. Thank you. That concludes decision time. We'll now move to members' business in the name of Ruth Maguire. We'll just take a few moments to change seats.